Hi there, welcome back. I'm your Sir Franco, and uh, I am here again to teach you about our lessons in mathematics. Last time I discussed about sets and uh, the three ways how to describe it. This time I will teach you the different kinds of sets, the important terms to remember, as well as notations and symbols. Okay, let's start our lesson on the kinds of set. The first kind of set is finite set. This is a kind of set whose elements are limited or those elements are countable. For example, set A is a set whose elements are One, two, three, four, and five. There are only five elements that belong to set A. There are no other elements. So this is called finite set. And we have the second the kind of set which is called infinite set. This infinite set is a set wherein the elements cannot be counted. For example, we have set B. In set B, we have these elements, set of counting numbers. And the set of counting numbers, there is no end. That is why you notice in this set, we only we have written one two three four and five and after five we put the ellipses to indicate that there are still numbers to be counted and there is no end the third kind of set is called joint set so joint sets could be two sets or more sets for example we have set A whose elements are one, two, three, four, and five. And set B whose elements are four, five, six, and seven. Notice that in both sets, we can see the elements that are common to each other. So in set A, we have 4 and 5. In set B also, we have 4 and 5 elements. So we can see the common elements between the two sets therefore this kind of sets or sets are called joint sets and the last one is called disjoint sets example of this joint sets is say set A is a set whose elements are One, two, three, four, and five. And set B is a set whose elements are seven, eight, nine, and ten. So we cannot see common elements between the two sets. So we call these sets as disjoint sets. Now let us continue on notation and symbols. I have written all these things, but uh, let us take this one by one. Let's go back to set. Again, set is denoted by 
the symbols of the letters of the alphabet and uh, we have also subset subset we take elements in a say you you want to get three and four and we call that set as set b whose elements are three and four and uh, to write the subset b in relation to to a we say that b is a subset of a this is the symbol of subset let's have proper subset if all elements in b are found in a and not all in a are in b then b is a proper subset of a let's have cardinality of a set let's go back to set a whose elements are 1 2 3 4 and 5 to determine the cardinality of a set we have to count the distinct number of elements in the given set how many elements do we have in a there are five elements how about C we have C whose elements are 1 1 2 2 3 3 4 4 take note that uh, cardinality of a set must be distinct it means there is no other duplicate let us not consider duplication when we count the number of elements for the cardinality so here we have only one two three four the cardinality of set c is four we also have the universal set and it is denoted by capital u universal set means that there are all possible elements present in the set under consideration and the last one is called empty set or null set and this is the symbol for the empty set or the null set now that we have already discussed about kinds of sets and also notations and symbols i am pretty sure you learned a lot and you can use this in the study of sets especially on problem solving so by now I would like to say thank you for watching and uh, wait for another video. Thank you.